said, the Lord uh, is on my side. What shall I fear? What can the devil do to me? You're testifying me. Yes. Things ain't right. Mm -hmm. Realities ain't right. Mm -hmm. Situation ain't right. Mm -hmm. But God is still on what? My yes, side. Okay. You've got to get this in your spirit. Mm -hmm. Sadness can't override joy. Amen. Mm -hmm. Because the joy of the Lord is what? Strength. Our strength. Mm -hmm. Joy gives you power. Yes, yes. But joy is the grandchild of love. Yes, Jesus. Uh -huh. <laughs> love is full of a whole bunch of stuff, Satan. Because God is love, love. love. And whatever you need is in love. Mm -hmm. We let that word love be God. Amen. Whatever you need is in love. Uh -huh. Whatever you need is in God. Uh -huh. So we sing a song. Whatever I need, God got it. Yes. He got every mm -hmm. <laughs> He got everything. Not that I won't. Don't lie on me. He got everything I need. Yes. yes. Thank you, Jesus. And the song says, if you need love, yes. God got it. God got it. Mm -hmm. What's the name of love that God got? Jesus. Jesus. Yes. Hallelujah. God so loved the world, he gave us love. Yes. Because love is God. Yes. Jesus is the body of God. Yes. Christ is God in Christ. Yes. Christ is God inside the body named Jesus. Yes, Jesus. You can see Jesus. You can't see Christ. But if you read 1 Corinthians 13, when that person laid that last cross down, then we will see Jesus as he is. Christ now. And we will be like him. That is, we won't be in our body. But the problem is, we want to see Jesus now like we're supposed to see him after 1 Corinthians 13. You can't stand it. You look at him now, you shout that crazy, run around the church, I'm too big for you. Amen. Even Superman can't look directly at the sun. Amen. Mm -hmm. I ain't talking about the SU here. Yeah. First Corinthians 13 says, Then you will see Jesus face to face. Look what it's saying now. I believe it. And you shall be as he is. Yes. Spirit. Yes. Your soul man now. now. That's not after you die. That's after God put an end to time. That's when Jesus comes to the edge of heaven and says, Come up here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. When you get there, you ooh, 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 ooh. You, you think you're looking at you now, you see Jesus. You then become his body. And Jesus in heaven. You need to get this simple teaching now. When God wrapped in the church, one body going in heaven. We are the body of Christ. When Jesus gets into heaven, Holy Ghost gonna call you out. You talk about the sign, man. I've been there, but I never got in. I never I said, I didn't want you to take it. He said, who's going to take it? I said, that's about to take it. My wife. I, I don't want to get it now. God says, it's not time. I got work for you to do. Amen. Amen. What is that work? Give praises to God, saints. Yeah. Yeah. Give praises to God. Give praises to God, saints. Give praises to Worthy your praise, saints. Now, when you get to heaven, inside of this one person, Jesus, we're inside him now. Because we have the Holy Ghost. We 
we are the body of Christ. When we get to heaven, we're going to be a spirit like Christ with no body. Amen. Amen. You, you Bible college students, you understand this. Amen. What do you think it means when I'm going to lay down on my burden? That ain't talking about somebody mistreating you. Amen. Talk about this. Amen. This is the burden that you have to deal with. Amen. Because when somebody dog you and damn you and call you out of your name and cut you out, this is what you got to deal with. Amen. That flesh ain't bought nothing more. Amen. That flesh ain't bought nothing, but only by the grace. Amen. Yes, yes. And as a Satan person in here, she said, I'm so glad I ain't like I used to be. Amen. Yes, yes. We were dogs. Yes, yes. <laughs> but spell dog backwards. God. God. We are the body, not of God. We're the body of Christ. Christ. Yes, thank so you. because we are the body of Christ, and Christ came to give glory to God, mm -hmm. give glory to God, saints. Not body. Because everything in this book is too big for your head. That's it. Amen. How can a man like me weigh less than 190 pounds at the time, lift a lawnmower over my chest that weighs 1,100 with one hand? That ain't possible. How can black men lose one eye on Tuesday and call me on Sunday and tell me I got my eye back? That, that's how come I love that song. Give honor to God, saints. Give honor to God. He's a heart maker. Yeah. Huh? He's a soul maker. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. I know a man wrote a song in the world called the Soul Train. There ain't no such thing as that. <laughs> but there's a thing called a soul trained the trained mean taught mm -hmm. amen your soul has to be taught yes. amen. Mm -hmm. not by Jesus by Christ amen Christ said I came mm -hmm. that you might that you, I came that you might have life mm -hmm. and look at the teaching and that you might have that life. More abundantly. More abundantly. That's the Holy Ghost job. Yeah, so Jesus came to depart it, depart the death of Jesus in you. Right. The Holy Ghost came to teach you Christ. Yes, yes. And where you are. See, see, Jesus is the flesh man with a spirit man living in him. That's called the church. You are a flesh man. Mm -hmm. And the Holy Ghost being a spirit lives in you. Amen. Now if you sweetly shown up, cross-eyed, mock me, slew foot say, ain't no crazy word gonna come out of your mouth because it ain't in your heart. Amen. Glory. And as a man thinking is, Hey, come on, God. You better get this Bible right up in here. So when somebody knock on your door, uh, have you bought a well of watermelon nice Christmas? Ain't no time to buy no watermelon. Yeah. He's trying to get in your house. Yeah. Some insurance people came by my house. I heard God say, Papa. I didn't even know. I didn't even open the door. Mm -hmm. 
Jesus said the Holy Ghost will show you the things to what? Come here, they ain't here yet, but he'll show you before they get there, so you'll be prepared. He ain't just preparing you to meet God, he does that. But the Holy Spirit come to give you the wisdom of God so you know the wrongness of the devil. Yeah, you, that yeah. devil is slick without the Holy Spirit. You will never sin. Amen. You will never sin. Amen. Oh, God. Yeah. You don't know nothing about life until you receive Jesus mm -hmm. that gave his life Amen. and rose again to give it to you. Amen. Amen. Now the thing that Jesus gave to you when he rose wasn't the benefit of his body, it was the power of his spirit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. See, the Holy Ghost came after the resurrection, after the, re the resurrection, because the Bible said two of them can't be on the earth at the same time. Mm -hmm. But now three of them can. Amen. Amen. Yes. Mm. You, you don't see a tricycle and say, look at that. Bicycle, because bicycle only got two, two wheels. Two wheels. Mm -hmm. A tricycle got three, three. three wheels. That's why you call this gospel the triune. Three and one. one. Mm -hmm. Three of them in me. Mm -hmm. Making me his body mm -hmm. that is living in me as my soul. Mm -hmm. Are y'all out there? Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. I know Make it plain. Make it plain. Somebody joke at you. You better pray. Amen. You better pray right now. Yes. Amen. Cause that flesh that we got, it ain't worth nothing. It ain't worth nothing. Amen. It ain't no good. That's right. And to be brought under submission. Now the Holy Spirit can't do it without your will. Amen. Amen. Your will have to be slain. Yes. Which means you have to surrender your will to the will of God. And God's I would that none should perish. So you better give up your body or you kill your soul. Jesus. Somebody give up. Somebody. Oh, what I'm talking about. That's why I fell in love with that word, that song. Give honor to God. Yes, yes. That choir is a preacher, you know. Amen. That choir is a preacher. And you see, because they're preaching the word, they want to take them off of the television now. See, so we got to figure a way to get them back on there. Because before I come, they preach. I'm not going to let you forget our subject. Yes. Turn the heat up a little bit, Sister Paula. Saint putting that jacket around his shoulders. If the Lord is on my side. Now let's get sassy. Let's get smart. The Lord is now fill in the blank. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Not who you want him to be, what you want him to do. Mm -hmm. When you get in your car today and drive home, every car that As you because of the grace of God. Yes, yes. Amen. When you get in your car, glory. And you look for something called a key. Yeah, glory. Mm. And you know your trunk key from your ignition. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's God's saints. Amen. Yes. That's God's saints. It's got a key. If you lose the ignition key and you can't get in, there's another key that will let you in. Mm -hmm. But it won't make the car go. Yeah. 
That's right. <laughs> Are y'all in here? Amen. Now, my teacher, the truth up in here. Yes, There's a prayer that will do one thing and will not do another. That's right. Amen. Yes. Amen. And there's a prayer that won't do that other thing if you don't give up something that you want to eat. That's right. Mm -hmm. If you want that big thing to move, you got to give up some bread. Yes, sir. You got to take something away from the flesh to give power to your prayer. It's called the fasting and praying. You need both of them. You need both of them. And, and you got to understand the Bible, God don't need healing. He ain't had somebody go pick him up every time, put him at the Lord's table, and feed him and take him back home from the bed. We ain't big enough to know how come God ain't like that. Amen. We ain't big enough. Mm -hmm. But the song is applicable. Give honor to God. Yes, sir. In spite of. In spite of. Yes. Mm -hmm. I don't want my wife to be out there wrestling. But they can take better care of her than I can at 86. Amen. They know what medicine to give her, how much when. They gave her a chair big enough to lay back, and she just, mm -hmm. and I'm trying to figure out, look, in this word I have dropped out of my vocabulary. Why? Why? That ain't my business. Amen. 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 Now, it took me almost 100 years to get around to that. <laughs> that is, God is wiser than we are. Amen. Mm -hmm. Which means he know where we are, what we are, what we're thinking, what we did not think. What we're thinking about tomorrow, what value you put on. How many times you watch the clock when preachers, when preachers preaching too long. Mm -hmm. He know all about that stuff. And that smile you got, no, you don't mean it. But I still say, give unto the God, yeah. say yeah. Yeah. Don't stop me from preaching. Give unto the God, say Make known. Yes. It's in the book, saints. Make known the deeds of the Lord. Well, I'll be out of here in a minute. And you owe me your patience. Amen. And they tell me, you preach too long. That's how come your church ain't. You can't tell so much truth to drive people away. Mm -hmm. Amen. The truth draws the people Amen. that have a will to come and a will to stay. Mm -hmm. So give honor to God. Yeah. Yeah. Give honor to God. You, you think my sister can cook some good potato pie? She do pretty good. But when you get to heaven, Mm -hmm. I ain't think about your thing about no more. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's a good theological, intellectual, spiritual question. What are we going to eat uh, when we get to heaven? They got a cake you can cook. It's called angel food cake or something. Mm -hmm. yeah. And it's light, you know. You ain't going to be in there when you get to heaven. Because mm -mm. you ain't going to be no angel. Amen. Amen. The saints, this book says, when we get to heaven, we're going to judge the angels. Uh -huh. Good God Almighty. Down here, the scripture said, God made us a little lower right. yeah. the angels mm -hmm. and crowned our heads with glory. Yeah. So give honor to the gods. Yeah. <laughs> hey, hey. Paul said, if you don't have to answer to these this simple thing, how you gonna judge the angels when you get to heaven? Yeah. So I teach you over and over and over. Yeah. And over. To God. What? Be the glory. Be the glory. There ain't yeah. nothing else. There ain't nothing else. 
<clears throat> now, if a bad thing happened, to God be the glory. If a good thing happened, to God be the glory. glory. So good and bad don't change what God is when it comes to our worship tree. He's yeah. just plain old good, and that my soul know what. Right. Right. Yeah. You, you got to keep that in front of you, because people throw that stuff in front of you, man. Yes, yes. yes. Pay $2,500 to get my car, get it out and paint it within two weeks. <laughs> So I looked at it, I said, give honor to God, we learned. <laughs> my soul said, I sure don't want to. Mm -hmm. Then I took my truck out there, 3500 in two weeks. Mm -hmm. Somebody stole it and drove it through a cyclone fence. Mm. Now I'm saying honor to God. Mm -hmm. Look at your truck. Well, I, I ain't in the mood. <laughs> it didn't say. You don't have to be in the mood. Amen. Mm -hmm. Look what God has done. Mm -hmm. yeah. Thousands and thousands of years the goodness has applied us. Mm -hmm. Look like to me. Mm -hmm. We ought to look back and see something worthy yeah. of saying give honor to God, oh, son. Yeah, 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 yeah. See, see, so you got two legs and you get your walking stick. Now you got three. That's a blessing. Yes, yeah. sir. Yeah. So you limp. Give honor to God, saints, glory. <laughs> In spite of, still give God honor. Not because of the walking stick, not because you got a headache. Give honor to God because it moves your heartache. Sin makes the heart sick. Jesus should be called Dr. Jesus. But, but when the saints call Jesus good Jesus, Jesus said, why do you call me good? None is good, say my father. You see Jesus saying that? Yeah. yeah. He took no honor. What's that song give? Give honor to He said, I came that you might have life. Yes, yes. And that you might have that life more abundantly. Yes. yes. But if I'm going to give you life, mm -hmm. Jesus said, I'm going to have to give up mine. That's your St. John. Yes, thank you. God crucified him for me. Yes. Oh, my God. Yes, sir. Go. Hey, he died for me. Yes. And it's only right that we should live. Yes. Thank you. For him. Yes, Lord. Thank you. God is good, you know. Yes, he is. Yes. Did you know he made this thing here to show you what time it is? Mm. I got about 30 more minutes to tell you what I've been telling you ever since you've been coming here. God show sure been good. Now you got to fill in the blank. Mm. To me. God show sure been good to me. me. My subject. The Lord is on my side. My side. Now that word my ain't got no name in it. So you got to fill in the Blank. Mm -hmm. I said, God been good to me. Mm -hmm. You said, God been good to you. Mm -hmm. yes. So the scriptures say, God is on our yes. side. Yes. side. Mm -hmm. When you're sick, yes. mm. we, see, the, the, the gospel is not applicable, it ain't the gospel. Amen. Amen. If you say St. John 3.16 said God so loved the world, you got to stop right there. Mm -hmm. How, what condition was the world in when God loved it? On his way to hell. Yeah. So the second part of that 3.16 said God did something yeah. about that soul that was on his way to hell. He took that soul off of the course of hell and put Jesus there. 
and crucified him. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So we give honor to God. Yeah. I love you. Love you too. Love you too, And if you didn't love me, you wouldn't put up with me. Amen. But let me tell you something. I don't want to hurt you a little teeny weeny feeling. Mm -hmm. But I got a call on my life. Amen. I got to do it. Amen. He said, be, he didn't say be faithful till you get old. Or till the people get tired of listening to you. He said, be ye faithful. Until ye die. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I will give ye a crown of life that fade not a weight. I'm waking on the ground. Amen. And when people call you, borrow money from you, you know they ain't going to pay you back. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Man came to me yesterday. Somebody just killed my brother, and I got to go to Ann Arbor. I had a brand new car now, but I need some gas to get there. <laughs> Lord have mercy. I said, I ain't got but $20. So I said, you lying. Good. <laughs> I said, what you got to have? He said, I need a Lisa tanker. Yeah. 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 And, and so I went in my pocket and gave him $40 that I lied and told him I didn't have. <laughs> This is what we must learn to do in spite of all hell. Give, <clears throat> and it shall be given to you. Yeah. Press down, yeah. and while you're sitting there, shaking together and running over, the Lord going to bless your bosom. I'm still learning what to give to whom, <clears throat> what not to give to whom. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Pastor. Now, if you've learned that, you already got your ground. Yeah. <clears throat> now, I can hear God. <clears throat> so he ain't going to bring your money back. And I got my sons praying yeah. about this. Yeah. I, I don't know how to handle it. That's a fault I got. Uh -huh. I tell you why. There was a time when I didn't have nothing. Amen. Mm -hmm. Yes, Lord. Yeah. So I worked, got enough money to get a Pepsi Cola yeah. and some peanuts. You ain't never done this. See? And I put the peanuts in the Pepsi Cola and they shake them up. Yeah. And that'll give you gas. Yeah. <laughs> so you go around feeling full. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But one day. Yes, Lord. Hey! Yes, Lord. One day. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I met Jesus. for me so I know not to give it to that person. Uh -huh. he, uh -huh. Don't cast your prayer to the sky. I know all about that. Yeah. Uh -huh. But I have a problem with it. Uh -huh. My son has come. We got about 29 minutes
as a man thinking his heart. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So easy. Yes, yes. I'm thankful to have two sons yes. that are sweetly saved and filled with the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Amen. Now you can count the times on one finger that I relate this in the pulpit to anybody. Yes. But I am not ashamed of what God has done for my son. So come, Brother Wheel, and share with us give you a, a text. Um, we can take it from 1 Samuel 16, the seventh chapter, just to give you a backdrop of what's going on here. Uh, the scripture says, 1 Samuel 16, chapter, the seventh verse, it says, but the Lord said unto Samuel, mm -hmm. look not unto his countenance, or on the height of his stance or stature, because I have refused him. Now what he's talking about here, Samuel had been given the task to find another king of Israel uh -huh. because Saul had messed up. Yes. Mm -hmm. Saul had been given an assignment by God through Samuel to go destroy the people of the Amalekites. And God gave Saul the instructions through Samuel to destroy everything that those people had. Mm -hmm. Yes. As harsh as it sounds, the women, the children, the donkeys, the livestock, yes, and Saul yes. didn't do that. And what happened was Saul, when he was confronted by Samuel, he lied about it. Mm -hmm. Amen. I believe that's one thing that God says he hates is a liar. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. He lied about it. And not only did he lie about it, he started making excuses. Mm -hmm. Not only did he make excuses, he began to blame other folk. Mm -hmm. The men that, that came with me. They are the ones who decide it. But when God tells you to do something, you need to do it. Amen. Amen. And I know we live in a culture that, um, that think that we think we can do anything and say anything and God will be pleased. No, he's not. Mm -hmm. So the scripture says uh, that because I have refused him. Now, the refused him uh, was referring to, uh, as Samuel was given the assignment to go to the house of Jesse in Bethlehem, to find a new king of Israel. And um, Jesse uh, was sending all of his sons. Now, depending on which text and theology you read, some say that Jesse had seven sons. Some say that he had six. But the fact of the matter, he had a son named David that they overlooked. Mm -hmm. yes. But that's the point. So the scripture here tells me, if you've been pre-approved, you don't have to worry about being overlooked. Amen. Mm -hmm. And just because someone may have more in, uh, uh, education than you, or yeah. someone may have more connections than you, and someone may have more stature than you, and someone may have uh, uh, more substance than you, what, what God has for you is for you. That's right. Yeah. So the scripture says, uh, 
as Jesse is sending all of these brothers to Samuel to see which one the Lord selects, uh, the scripture says, because I have refused him. For the Lord seeth not as man seeth, but man looketh on the outward appearance, but the Lord looketh on the heart. Uh, I, I, I was pondering this, and, and I, I was wondering if God wrote a personal love letter to me, uh, what would it say? If he wrote a personal letter to you, I'm not talking about what's in scripture, something uh, pertinent to this time. What, did he, what would he say to you? What would he say to you? Well, I'm going to tell you what he said to me. He says, my dearest Jeff, I approve of you. I want the best for you. Uh, not because you are perfect, not because you don't make mistakes, but because you belong to me. Amen. You have been adopted into my royal family. This is what God's telling me. I don't know what he's going to tell you. Amen. But this is his personal letter to me. He says, please know and understand that I see you through the eyes of grace. I chose you before the creation of the world to be holy. Mm -hmm. I chose you to be blameless in my sight. But I know that you fall short of this perfect standard in your daily living. Mm -hmm. But I still love you. Amen. And I view you as holy. Amen. I view you as blameless because this is your permanent position in my kingdom. Mm -hmm. You can thank my son for that. This is his letter to me. It says, I know how much you long for my affirmation, Jeff, and I know how hard it is for you to accept it at times, but I want you to learn and see for yourself and see others through the eyes of grace. Mm -hmm. Oftentimes we see people through the eyes of condemnation mm -hmm. and how far they fall short. Mm -hmm. And isn't it interesting how we point our fingers at somebody else and we toe up from the flow up. Amen. Yeah, I may not be doing this and I may Amen. not be doing that, but I'm still doing something. Mm -hmm. Amen. You want to tell me how bad I am before you condemn me to hell or send me to a place that you have no power to put me in. You need to check your own self. Amen. Amen. Come on. Amen. Come on. Because we all fall short of the glory of God. Yes. The scripture yes. says that all have sinned and yes. fall short of the glory of God. Am I right about it? Amen. Amen. Yes. The Bible, and this, this story that God has sent to me, it says, because I need you to look through the eyes of grace for this purpose so you can focus on what is good. I think the scripture talks about that. Mm -hmm. I think the scripture tells us to look on what is good, look on what's holy, yeah, look yeah. on what, you know what I'm talking about, right? Yeah. That's where God wants us to see, but too often we want to point fingers at somebody. And if we're not pointing them at somebody, we point them at ourselves. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I come by to tell you, if God has forgiven you, why are you still holding on to stuff that you did hey, last year? That's right. That you did last that's year. Right. That you did last year. That you did 20 years ago, yeah, that yeah. you did 20 seconds ago, that mm -hmm. you did in the parking lot before you came into the church. Mm -hmm. God has forgiven you. You're covered by the blood. You're covered Amen. by grace. You know why? Because he knows you got sense enough to say, Lord, forgive me. Amen. He knows you got sense enough to say, Lord, I'm sorry. Yes. Lord, I repent. Amen. Yes. And the, he, this story to the, that he's written to me, he says, as you learn to cooperate with me and embrace what I'm doing in your life, the better off you'll be. As I transform you into the likeness with ever increasing glory. Jeff, I not only approve you, I did it before you were born, before the foundation of the world. Oh, Jeff, I delighted you. Jeff, come on. I love you. Jeff, I forgive you. Jeff, I got you. Amen. That's his love letter to me. Amen. What has he written for you? Amen. What will be that love letter for you? Yes. Amen. Amen. Um, the, the, the thought is pre-approved. We all know that the prefix pre uh, means before, before, in front of, mm -hmm. or prior to. It simply means it's already done. Mm -hmm. yes. Mm -hmm. yes. So don't you know that what God has in store for you is already done? Already Amen. Done. The scripture says it's already done where? In the in spirit. spirit. Yes. It's already done. So when you're asking God for this and asking God for that, you have to understand that it's already done. Look, you don't have to beg God for nothing. Amen. You don't have to beg God for anything. Amen. Amen. God knows what you need, when you need it, how you need it, where you need it, Come how on. much you need it. He already knows. Amen. So you don't have to beg God for yes, anything. Lord. Now, you can keep it in front of him, but you don't have to beg it. Yes. Because he knew you needed and what you Amen. needed before you even asked. Hallelujah. And he put that thing in motion yes. long before you asked. But he still wants you to ask. Amen. 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 Any good parent knows that you want your children to ask for Well, the scripture said you have not because you ask not. not. Amen. If my son needs something, my children need something, innately there's some things I just naturally give to them. But then sometimes I need you to come to me and ask me. 
Amen. Amen. Because asking is a sense of humility. Mm -hmm. Yes. Amen. Amen. It takes humility to ask. Mm -hmm. Amen. And that's a life lesson. Mm -hmm. Amen. So we're all familiar with um, when we receive these uh, phone calls or these letters in the mail that it goes on something like this. Because of your excellent credit rating, uh, you've been pre-approved oh, yeah. for my yeah. credit. Did anybody ever get one of them letters yeah. in the mail? Hey, most of the phone calls that I receive on my phone start off something like this. This is your credit card company. But before you hang up, there's nothing wrong with your credit. But if you call back within the next 45 minutes, we'll make you a special offer. Mm -hmm. Anybody ever had that happen? Mm -hmm. yes. uh, we know that what they're promising isn't always true because when we do call, we transfer from this person to the yes. next person. They try yes. to sell us something that we yes. didn't ask for. Yes. Amen. And then they, if they find out that you had a foreclosure or repossession or that your credit score is 200 and you don't have no credit, then they want to hang up on you. But wait a minute. I thought I was pre-approved. Amen. 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 If you Amen. called me and told me I was pre-approved, shouldn't my blessing already be on the way? Amen. Amen. I come out to tell you that you're free of food. When you come to God, you're free of food, and your blessing is already on the way. Amen. 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 So, so I've been pre-approved, and you've been pre-approved, and my assignment is, is to share with somebody that because you've been pre-approved by God, it doesn't matter what mistakes you made. Amen. Amen. One person said amen. Amen. All oh, y'all living holy and sin free and ain't amen. never made a mistake. Amen. Well, I'm going to keep on going. I speak for my position. Come on. Uh, it doesn't matter what your standing is in life. It doesn't matter if you've fallen short. It doesn't matter if you've been denied. It doesn't matter uh, yes. if you've been overlooked. It doesn't matter who you are, what you are, where you came from, what you've done. It doesn't matter whether you're tore up from the floor because yes. if you've been approved, by God, yes. pre-approved by yes. God, yes. what's for you is for you. Yes, yes. Come on. Amen. Come on. You know, you know how I know? Because unlike the world today that has hidden clauses, Pastor, yes. and hidden agendas, God don't have no agenda. That's right. Uh, unlike right. the world That's that has right. fine print that will disqualify you, yes. God qualifies you. Yes. Uh, Come unlike on. the world that has that fast-talking guy at the end of the commercial, yes. God's word is simply yay yes. yes. and amen. Yes. 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 We serve a God who qualifies us before we was even born. How I know that? Because Jeremiah 1 and 5 says, Before I formed you in the womb, I knew you. Before you were born, I set you apart. We serve a God who doesn't interrogate us or interview us to see if we're qualified. He already knows we're not qualified. Amen. We serve a God that doesn't examine us or hold us in contempt because he knows that we could never measure up to his goodness. Right. He That's knows right. that we could never measure up to his yes. grace. Right. He knows that we could never measure up to his mercy. Right. That's yes. why he sent his son Amen. to qualify us. Right. 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 Amen. Amen. Right. Amen. Our God calls us yes. to himself. Right. And tell, tell you what, there are no late penalties. Right. Yes, sir. Thank no you. lay penalties. Thank you. Yes, sir. No outrageous lay penalties. Thank Amen. You. Amen. If you make a mistake, fess up and confess up and keep it moving. Yes, sir. Amen. Where the yes, world would drag you down yes, with all the weight of your yesterday, God say, I made free. Yes. Amen. I'm free. Yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. Amen. Uh, God called us to himself and says, I need you for my service. Do you yes. know that God needs you? Yes, sir. Amen. Yes. Amen. Do you know that you're the hands and feet in the earth for Jesus? Yes. That some Hallelujah. people may not come to church, but you're the only Jesus they may see? Amen. 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 They may not come to full gospel or any other church by any other name, but if they see you, they should know that there's something different about your life. Amen. Amen. You know why? Because you're being pre-approved to be a witness Hallelujah. for the Lord. Am I right about it? Amen. Amen. You need to tell somebody about Jesus. Yes, you need to bless somebody, and you need to help somebody along their way. So it doesn't matter what your usher, run the camera ministry, yes. or a, amen, or, or you're sitting in the pews or preaching and teaching. God needs you. Yes, amen. Sir. And the reason why he needs you is because he set you aside for such a time as this. Yes, Can sir. I get a witness in here? Yes, sir. Amen. God pre-approves us for his glory, so don't get it twisted. Don't get it mixed up. It's all about him. Yes, it's sir. not about you. Yes. He pre-approved yes. you 
for you. See, the credit card company want to pre-approve you so you can spend a whole lot of money with them. Amen. But God just want to spend a whole lot of time with you. Amen. Yes, sir. Amen. He wants to bless you and keep you and anoint you and use you. That's what God wants to do. Yes, sir. Amen. 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 God has pre-approved many for his glory. Uh, just ask Abraham how he called him to go to a land that he didn't know. That's Abraham right. was pre-approved. That's right. Amen. Ask Gideon. Uh, how God told him to take 300 soldiers, which he whittled down from 22,000, and go handle those even, evil Midianites. He was pre-approved. Mm -hmm. He wasn't perfect, but he was pre-approved. Mm -hmm. Ask Paul how he was pre-approved when he was on the wrong side of the gospel. Yeah. But God used him to bless us even today. He was yes. pre-approved. Yes. Uh, there was David versus Goliath. Yes. David was pre-approved to handle that giant. That's why and then there was Moses versus Pharaoh. He was pre-approved to handle that situation. Yes. And at the top of the list, there was Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Yes. And we know that he was pre-approved yes. because he handled the devil. Not only the devil, but death, the cross, the hell, and the grave. Jesus was pre-approved. Am I right about it? And the reason why that we all experience the victory, the reason why they experience the victory, because God has a calling on our life. Yes. And God has anointed us for such a day as this. Yes. So not only pre-approved, we are pre-anointed, yes. predestined, pre-selected, and pre-approved. Yes, sir. Amen. Amen. I want to share with somebody today that what God has for you is for you. Yes. Amen. 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 It, it doesn't matter what the doctor says. Amen. It doesn't matter Amen. what the lawyer says. Amen. Some of y'all ain't never never had the lawyer, but I've had to have one. And I'm telling you, yes, it don't sir. matter what they say. Yes, it doesn't sir. matter what the judge say. They don't have the final Lord. say. Jesus. It doesn't matter what the banker says. Jesus. If God said it, he will bring it to pass because you're pre-approved. Amen. Yes, Amen. Numbers 23 and 19 assures us that God is not a man that he should what? Lie, neither the son of man that he should repent. He don't have to repent for anything. Amen. And, and what he said, he will do it. And what he speaks, he will make good on it. That's according to the word. Amen. We, we all know that the story of King David, the son of Jesse, as I mentioned earlier, was anointed king of Israel. But the interesting thing, Pastor, I don't know if they know. I don't know that David was anointed three times. All right. Three times. Amen. 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 First in, in 1 Samuel the 16th chapter by the prophet Samuel. Yes. He was just a child. But secondly, by king, he was anointed king of Judah in 2 Samuel the second chapter in the fourth verse. And he was re-anointed king of Israel in 2 Samuel the fifth chapter the third verse. So what does that tell me? Sometimes it may not come when you want it, Amen. but you got to wait. Amen. And you need to know that no matter what's going on in your life, if you ask God for it and you didn't ask amiss according to the word, if it's for you, it will come to pass. Yeah. Sometimes you need, just need to cross your arms and just rock. Sometimes you just need to cry. But whatever you need to, whatever you're doing while you're waiting, wait. wait. Amen. Amen. Because the scripture says in Psalm 27 yeah. and 17, Wait on the Lord, be of what? Good courage, and he shall strengthen thine heart. Wait, I say, on the Lord. If you recall the story of uh, uh, the previous king, King Saul had disobeyed God, as I mentioned in chapter 15 of 1 Samuel. And God says that I will, I, I have, I have, I have denied him. I have taken away his authority. God will take away some stuff from you. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. uh, I have stripped him of his authority and his ability and his kingship. Now, even though that didn't happen right away, it did eventually happen. Am I right about that? Amen. Amen. That's another thought for me. Just because I think I'm getting away with something. Yeah. Don't mean I'm going to get away with it for a long time. That's right. What else does it tell me? I need to stay in the good graces of the Lord. Yes, sir. So it's not the sin that he did. Don't get it twisted. Mm -hmm. It's because he lied and denied and tried to hide the sin that he did. Yeah. Mm -hmm. God wants you to confess that sin mm -hmm. yeah. so he can continue to bless you. Yeah. Uh, if you further read in the ninth, chap ninth verse of that same chapter, you will find that that that. He made excuses, as I mentioned earlier, and, and instead of accepting his responsibility, he passed it on to somebody else. So the 16th uh, verse says, so he asked Jesse, Samuel. Yeah. Now he's in Bethlehem. 
Saul has been rejected. So now he's been sent to Bethlehem to Jesse's house to find a new son. Don't you know a new king? Don't you know that God already knew that David was the one? Yes. Amen. And even though they went through the process of this selection of bringing all these different brothers mm -hmm. forth, God already knew who he wanted. Yeah. Right. Amen. This is a lesson for us. Uh -huh. Amen. Not a lesson for God. So, 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 so he asked Jesse, Samuel says, are these all the sons you have? This is 16th verse. And he said, Jesse said, there's still one more. He's the youngest, but he's tending sheep. Yeah. Uh, Samuel says, send for him, and we won't sit down until they get here. Mm -hmm. So Jesse sent for him and, and had him brought in. And, and the Bible says that he was glowing with health, and he had a fine appearance, and he was handsome in his mm -hmm. features. And, and then the Lord says, rise up and anoint him. And he simply said, this is the one. Mm -hmm. Aren't you glad that he said the same thing Amen. about you? Yes, you are the one. Yes, Amen. Second Corinthians, the 10th chapter, the 18th verse simply says, For it is not the one commending himself who is approved, but the one that the Lord commends who is approved. Amen. I come by to tell you, my brothers and sisters, that you've been approved. Amen. 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 So you need to walk in it. Amen. 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 So, so when God approves you, no one can block your breath blessing. Amen. When God Amen. approves you, no Amen. one can stop your calling. When God approves yes. you, uh, uh, nobody can write you off or hold you back. Amen. When God approves you, the demons in hell can't stand in your way. Amen. When God approves you, you can be tending the sheep in the backfield and God will raise you up. Yes, when God approves you, he can take you from the pit to the palace. Yes. When God approves you, yes. you will receive you. everything. Amen that he has in store yes. for you. Somebody yes. say amen. amen. I've seen yes, many sir. people wanting to get in head in this life. Mm -hmm. They tried to push their way to the top. Yes, yeah. sir. Sleep their way to the top. Mm -hmm. yeah. Cheat their way to the amen. top. Yeah. Steal their way to the top. Yes, yeah. Take their way to the yeah. top. Yes, but because you've been pre-approved, you don't have to do none, none of, that. of that. All you got to do is walk in his word, yes. love on him, yes. be faithful, and he will bless your life. Yes. If you want some, if he wants you to have it, he'll have it. Yes. He'll open doors for you that you didn't even know existed. Yes. He'll cause yeah. people to bless you that don't even know you. Oh, He'll yes. give you favor that ain't fair. Yes. He'll give you the victory when you feel like you're defeated. Yes. If he wants you to have it, you'll have it. He'll cause people to bless you that don't even know your name. Yes. If he wants you to have it, you will have it. He'll turn your dead end street into a super highway. Yes, if he sir. wants you to have it, you'll have it. Yes, He'll sir. cause your bills to get paid and ain't no money coming in. Come on. Amen. He'll cause food to be on your table and you don't know where your next meal comes from. He'll give you strength to fight another day when you feel like you can't get up and go. He'll give you hope when you're feeling hopeless. Somebody say amen. amen. The devil will have you think that someone else is more qualified than you. That someone has more, has more pedigree than you. That someone else has more training than you, more education than you, more connection than you. But I come by to say today from experience, see, I'm not telling you what I heard. I'm telling you what I know. Amen. That if God be for you, he's more than the world against you. All you got to do is walk like you're free and free. You can't walk in the bank and act like you're not going to get the loan. You got to know that you're going to get the loan because you are pre-approved by God. And God will give you favor no matter what situation you find yourself in. You don't have to go in there begging and being humble. You go in there bold and stand flat-footed and say, for God I live, for God I die, this is what I need. He's going to make a way out of no way. Somehow he's going to fix this. Why? Because I have been pre-approved. Yes, Lord. 22 <laughs> minutes. You get two more. I'm sitting down. Why? Because God favors you. Yeah. Why? Because God knows your heart. Yeah. Why? Because God has plans for you. Yes, sir. Why? Believe this. He trusts you. That's Amen. right. Come on. Amen. Amen. And that's not all. Uh, not only have you been pre approved for that house, Amen. for that car, for that promotion. Yes. For that you. husband you've been praying for, <laughs> thank for that you. wife you've been praying yes, for, thank you. or for that child you've been praying for, yes. you've been pre-approved for your healing. Yes. You've been pre-approved for your peace. Yes. You've been pre-approved for a time of sickness that health is just around the corner. Yes. 
Yes. You've been pre-approved that strength is on its way. Yes. You've been pre-approved that there's peace in the middle of the storm. Yes. Comfort during the time of sadness. Yes. You've been pre-approved. Yes. So when God sent Samuel to the house of Jesse, he already knew who he was looking for. Yes. But David had no idea. Yeah. Amen. David had no idea of the blessing that was coming his way. Yes. You know what that tells me? I have no idea either. Amen. You don't have any idea either. Amen. You think you know what you want. You don't know Amen. what you want. Amen. 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 God knows exactly what we need, and he will make give us the provision to receive it. Yes, Lord. Amen. 1 Corinthians 2 and 9 said, Eyes have not seen, yeah. nor ear have heard, yeah. nor have even entered to the heart of mind. You can't even think how big God is. Mm -hmm. The things that God has prepared, though, for those who love them. Yeah. And I'm going to be closing here. Mary was pre-approved by God. Mm -hmm. Yes, she was. Even though she was just a young girl, yet God chose her to be the birth canal for the Savior of the world. Yes. Paul was pre-approved by God. Even though Saul, the previous Paul, the arrogant and misguided Paul, the Pharisee Paul, the con who he condemned, punished, and jailed yeah. early believers. That Saul. God still chose him to write much of the New Testament, mentor many into the faith, and nurture many churches. He was pre-approved. Mm -hmm. Moses also was pre-approved by God, even though he was raised in Pharaoh's house. Killed a man. Yeah. Uh, had poor speech. Yeah. Spent years in the wilderness. And at times, disobeyed God. Yes, but because he was pre-approved by God, God said, Take my people out of captivity. Yeah. David was pre-approved by God. Even though he slept with Bathsheba and had her husband killed. Yes, had, a hu had a child out of wedlock. Yes. Yet without David, we wouldn't know this. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Yeah. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Who shall I be afraid? One thing have I desired of the Lord, then that will I seek after that I will dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life to behold the glory of the Lord and to inquire in his temple. Amen. David was wronger than two left shoes, yes, but he had a repentant heart. Uh -huh. And because of that repentant heart, God favored him. Yes. And because of that favor, God pre-approved him. Somebody yes, need to say amen. 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 In my closing, uh, there's a story of a young man who was once studied violin under a great renowned master. Eventually the time came for this student to make his first recital. Following each selection, despite the cheers and a few boos from the crowd, the young performer was disheartened. He felt that, that way because there were several others that had done their recitals that had done much better than him. They were much smarter than him. They had trained longer than him. And in his mind, they were better than him. Even after he played his last number, and as the reactions from the crowd grew lighter, louder, the violinist stood watching an old man in the balcony. Finally, the old man smiled and nodded in approval. Immediately, the young man relaxed and being with joy and satisfaction. You see, the man in the balcony was his teacher. Mm -hmm. The man in the balcony was his master. Mm -hmm. The man in the balcony was his mentor. Mm -hmm. And the applause of the crowd meant nothing to him yes. until he saw that his master was approving Amen. of what he was doing. Y'all get what I'm telling you today? I come by to tell you that no matter what the world says, yes. because the same people will applaud you, will talk about you behind your back. Yes, the same people will boo you, will turn around and applaud you on tomorrow. Yes, so I come by to tell you that they don't matter. They don't the matter. only thing that matters is not the old man in the balcony sitting up high. It's our Savior sitting up high that's looking low. Yes, the only thing that matters in my life is not that I'm approved by Master so-and-so, yes, but that I'm approved by God. Yes, so it doesn't really matter what anybody else says. It doesn't matter what anybody else does. It doesn't matter how much they have and how much I don't. If I've been pre-approved by God, I'm going to get just what God wants me to have. Somebody say amen. My time is up. I thank you for